Hello! Today we will be showcasing a program that I made for Minecraft Dungeons. The program allows me to have free control over the camera and the player. This allows me to go to places the game does not allow you to go by default. I'm recording this video together with Apsiolio. Hello! His channel will be in the description. We will be showcasing different cool things we found in the game's levels while playing around with the program. If you would like to see more of our discoveries and a more in-depth view of the maps in Minecraft Dungeons, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. If you want to be notified when I do, remember to also turn on the notification bell. I might release this program to the public later on, so that's also something to look forward to if you subscribe. You may know about this little scene here, the secret room where you can get a room, but this is what it looks like without any of the fog or special effects. Like it's just a blank red space and the floor is just ugly. These pillars are pretty cool from f up close. I really like the flames going upwards. Yeah, the, the effect on them is really cool. Yeah, it's really weird that they um, loaded this or made this whole um, floor down here. Imagine if mobs spawn down and you can't see anything, it's so foggy. Yeah. Now the sky is black instead of red. Hmm. Yeah. This also, this is a perfect hitbox. It's not even a block. It's a perfect hitbox. Like you're supposed to be able to yeah. walk against it. What? Why did they take the time for that? How are, how are we going to get back up? <laughs> like um, this. Bye. You do not hear it, but the music here is very eerie and distant and very. Yeah, it is. I also noticed a chain running across the entire map. I'm going to try to find a spot where you can see it on video. You should be able to see it here. It's a really detailed texture for chain as well. And I don't know where it goes, but it just... just stops. Yeah, but look, it stops here. It just ends. It Does it stop like... oh. Like, the chain continues more in this direction as well, all across the map. And it just ends somewhere. But that's very odd. This overview looks really cool. Yeah, it does. Like, everything's just even, next to each other. Yeah, even the supplies are like, the text is showing. And, and here's another giant area, and here's the chest room. Everything's just next to each other. Then you can just go in on to nothing. Those are basically the biggest points on this map. So we'll just be going on to the next one now. can fall forever. Oh, the camp is also points. a weird glitch. Like, you, usually you can't walk off the edge, but here you just can and die. And also if you land here, perfectly, you... you can just fall forever. Look, he's stuck in the falling animation forever now. No. I have a feeling that me falling forever was not supposed to be in the game. Maybe, maybe that was a feature. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and now I'm dead. Nice. The question most of you probably have is if you can get to that island over there. And the answer is yes, you definitely can. For some reason it's um it's completely loaded in and all the chunks I mean all the hitboxes are like completely normal blocks and you just be down there for some reason. Yeah. If you just move down here. Like it's just it's like a normal map here. Take a lot of fall damage when you exit flying, or you can teleport to me now. Yes, I'm doing that. I am already there. You're already there. I'm your, just your friendly farmer flyhacker. <laughs> friendly farmer flyhacker. It's like perfect hitboxes, and it's pretty detailed, but the texture quality is so high. Yeah. It has a weird hitbox for this house, but it, that's to be expected. You can also go down, you take a lot of fall damage here, by the way. Let's go to your ship. The yes, let's the go to ship. The ship. ship, yes. Listen. That makes me question if you're supposed to be able to go here at some point. Yeah. Like, there's another separate island. And there's not really anything here, really. And strangely enough, you can just in full detail see the other player at the island as well. Mm. Like, he's just standing there, hello. See, just full, 
No loss of quality, it's just... wow. Can you walk around a bit? Uh. Oh, there's a cloud I'm in just, the way. I'm just having a normal day uh, down here. <laughs> Using this too, you can get some pretty cool shots like this. Like I'm just in the bottom right, looking into the distance. Yeah. <laughs> you can also get into little areas like this. As you can see, you can only see this tiny uh, portion here as if it's under construction, but if you go into free cam, you can see that it goes on for quite a bit here. You can't even see this. And there's literally nothing, it's just abyss. Isn't your death is on the other side? It's just a death house. It's a death house, yes. If I just go up very far off the camera, it will become a bit foggy. But you will get a nice overview of this island. You can just see that in the distance. You can still see Apsioni standing over there. <laughs> this is a full bird's eye view of the main island, the camp. If we then go over here, into this direction, you can see this hole in the distance here. That's where you're going to enter this building. You can get a view from this hole from a different angle, like normally you're looking like that. But now we can look like this. We just see absolutely on this chicken walking over there. If we go a bit down under the map here, we can also see a bit of loose carpet. I'm not sure what the purpose is, but it's just there. You can see another like wall section over there a little bit. We can see more unused blocks under the map here. Like, none of this has an outside except this part, and that's just weird. Runes here. Why are these here? Like, this one isn't even loaded correctly, like, half of it is missing. The right one. And this is the chest room where you can get the secret level. Spoiler alert. If we go further from the chest room over here, then we can see the house as well. It's all in the same row, just next to each other in a row. So we go from here, if we go from inside a building, it's just weirdly colored, like the lighting is so weird, it's creepy. Yeah. It's like night time now. For some reason the lighting changes uh, depending on the view that you have. It's really weird. <laughs> now we can see, I've seen it walk over here from a really, really weird angle, like it's night, it's turning night time. Maybe we can get a better overview shot like this. That looks pretty cool, but a bit unclear because of the fog. If you use the camera, you can also get some pretty cool close-up shots like that. that looks pretty sick. Yeah. You can take some pretty cool screenshots using this. On Creepy Crypt. There's this, uh, you're not even able to go here. At no point are you able to go there, but if you just teleport over there, like keep in mind that in no possible way can you get to this side of the gate. You can only see like this part, but it goes on for so long. There's more loaded than last time. Oh, the entire map's loaded. There's skeletons here. There's mobs out here. There's even mobs out here, and there's literally last time no there way weren't to get any here. mobs. Last time there were no mobs. Yeah, last time we checked there were no mobs, so that's very weird. Why is there just a hole here? What? Uh, like it this loads this a, didn't go for this long. It loads a giant part of the map that you can't access. Yeah, you will never access this, so why is it... That's why is it so here? Old. There's even a chest. Can you get here? No. No, you can't. No There's even a chest here. Maybe these are the, like, they accidentally left in the map generation for this, for like a big part. Look how much of yeah. the map is generated out here. But it's like, also like, seems like it's just random parts of the map. Like this here, this doesn't look normal. No, it doesn't. Why would they like, because you can't get here. You cannot with, like, get here. Let me check if I can see stuff with the camera. Like, you can only see this tiny portion of the map. 
But they generate this entire thing. This looks cool. It's so big. Wait, now we're in the, not in the lighting of Creepy Crypts. You can see everything very clearly now. Yeah. What? Like this is the the room you need to go to. Like nothing spawned in yet. It's just there's also um more uh, behind it. There is. Yeah. It's just that's another the, uh, section escape map. map. Yeah, that's the escape. This map. is the end map. Yes, this is where you yeah. go when you um exit the crypt. Yeah. It's not where we were. Like, no, why did so they make all of that? So that's why I can't get some chests. That's dumb. Yeah. That was a secret. It looks very cool, though. It does. The creepy crits look massive and super cool. To see, like, an up view of it. It counted as a secret on the map as well. If you press M. Oh, yeah. It counted as a secret, so that's... Very. Oh, I can see your name if you're in the same map as I am, but if you're in the cre creepy crypts, then your name doesn't show. That's... what? I just disappeared? <laughs> yeah, I can just see you, it's... but not your name. That's very weird. I'm gonna go there and try and look for me. Yes. Okay, I'm going to try to search you. Okay, I'm going to try... Oh, yeah, I see you. I do see you, Silhouette. That's crazy. Yeah, but it you does. don't see my name. I do not see your name. Do you see the mobs? I do see the mobs. I even see the health of the mobs, but I do not see your name tag. Oh. Now I can just spectate you with good lighting. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching this video. Remember to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you would like to see more exclusive content like this. I might release this program soon if there's enough people wanting it. Make sure to check out Apsiolo's channel if you care, and I'll see you in the next video.